All right, hi everyone. So um, as you guys know, I got a new vanity table. This is what it looks like. Um, it's from Ikea, has two polo jars here and it's black wood finish. Okay, so I'm just gonna start over here quickly. I'm gonna do this video as fast as I can. Hey, look, it's me, my crotch. <laughs> Anyways, this is my round mirror. Um, mirror. This is my round mirror and it's not a light up one. I love it because it's so big. And the reason why I don't have a light up mirror because of these blinding lights right here. Hold on. All right, so these lights are are really amazing I love them they give me amazing lighting and the great thing about that light is that you can actually dim it to make it brighter or whatever it is you like um, over here is where I keep my matte and shimmer palette it's not the coastal sense one but I found it on a different site much cheaper and they're exactly alike and this is my glitter palette I absolutely love this if you're a glitter fan then you'll like that as well but I won't show it um, this is my Mac palette I have nothing in it and the reason why I don't have a lot of MAC palettes you guys will see in a second. All my tweezers, hair clips, um, tanning lotions. This is my brush cleanser, my MAC brush cleanser in a spray bottle to spot clean. Hand sanitizer, cotton swabs, cotton swabs, um, cotton pads and Q-tips. This is the 180 Kabuki brushes, more brushes here. Um, more brushes this is my eye makeup remover it's not by Lancome it's by Clarence I just absolutely love this bottle makes life easier fix plus um, this is like a container that I keep all of my eyeliners mascaras shade sticks my jumbo pencils lip liners and all that junk and that's my hand lotion which I absolutely adore um, random makeup bag okay um, so like I said they have two pull out drawers right here and then a hollow section. So I'll start off with this one first, and this one's pretty boring. Not too proud of this drawer, to be honest with you guys. Um, right here is where I keep all my concealers. I have the MAC um, Pro Longwear. I love it, it's my holy grail. This is just a sample one right now. Um, concealer, Touche Clot, eyebrow kit. These are my only face products, loose powder, primer, redness solutions. Here's where I keep my primer for the eyes and stuff. These are the gel liners um, by Coastal Sense and I hate them, do not buy them. These are the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream Liners, really good. Um, a MAC cream paint pot, I don't know what it's called, but it's really good, I like that. And then sharpeners and stuff. All right, so um, in this hollow section, this is where I keep my face wipes. These is my MAC ones, random cotton balls. And if you guys look down there, there is like a life supply of Kirkland face wipes. I really like them. Okay, um, over here I have more boring stuff. This is just my face products. I use a bunch of clearance. I love it. It's my, like, my all-time favorite face creams and stuff. Um, just, what are those called? Whatever, like, you know, chapsticks and stuff, eye cream, eyelashes, yeah. Okay, so that is my desk. Next, this is my dresser that I keep all of my makeup in. It is the Malum, Malm, whatever you want to call it. It is a six drawer one. You have two small ones and then the rest ginormous large ones. Keep in mind, these ones are really big, so I have a lot more room to fill it up. And I kind of don't want to fill it up because I'm taking a break from that. Okay, so up here quickly, hair brushes, earrings, necklaces, um, hair products. Uh, this is my Dior jewelry box that I keep my headbands in, but they're obviously cramped. This is my Daisy Marc Jacob box. I absolutely love it. I don't have too much perfumes, but I'm just actually starting to get really into them right now. I have Elise Watier, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue, and Sugar, um, Sexual Sugar. You guys have to try this perfume. It's amazing. It's my favorite. Okay, so that's that. All right, this drawer right here is just basically makeup bags that I've never even touched and just... There's a dozen of them in here, so yeah, not too interesting. This drawer right here is considered my backup drawer. Um, I have a lot of Q-tips, cotton pads and stuff. My Beauty So Clean kit for freelancing. Um, eyelash glue, eyebrow pencils, and a lot of Clarins and Clinique stuff. All right, over here is where I keep my eyeshadows. Oh my God, it's a mess in here, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so this is where I keep my eyeshadows. Um, yeah, so I'll start off with this bin. This is where I keep my tru truels, my trios, quads, and duels, and you know, palettes and stuff like that. Um, 
I have MAC in here. There's Dior Mart Dior. This is Quo that you can get at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. I absolutely love these. They're really pigmented and very easy to work with. Yeah, and they're mineral eyeshadows. These are the Annabelle Custom Quads where you pick your own color and it's kind of like the MAC concept, but I love the packaging on this 10 times better. Um, this is Lise Watier, and if I can open it for you guys, I will. Looks like that. It's really nice. Only some of them are good. Some of them are shit, so yeah. Oh my god. Okay, over here are my NYX trios, and then there's my Smashbox ones as well. Um, what is this? Josie Moran. These are Lancome's and Clinique. Uh, these are the Icon palettes. And then these are my Kat Von D palettes. I have five of them. Absolutely love them. They're so good. This is my Elizabeth Arden palette. If you guys didn't see my haul, then yeah, I featured that in my haul. Uh, this is my Gosh Quad. These are Gosh tr duo Trios and Elizabeth Arden Duos. Okay, so that's that. This right here is miscellaneous eyeshadows that don't have a home that doesn't fit. And yeah, there's like MAC, Urban Decay, and I don't know, randomness in here. But these are the ones that can't fit into these. Now, this is the reason why I don't have any MAC palettes because of this. <clears throat> I really like this. It fits 25 MAC eyeshadows and it's just really easy. Like you can just pop in your bag and you don't have to worry about any of your eyeshadows being damaged. Um, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna tell you guys where I got this because I wanna be like going more depth with it and tell you guys about it. So I'm gonna do a separate video on that. So anyways, in here is just MAC eyeshadows and stuff. Um, it fits 25 like I mentioned and this case is amazing because it fits so many different shapes and you guys can see that right now I labeled this one as pure. Um, I have more MAC eyeshadows here. This is the body shop Vasanti These are my pure eyeshadows, and I absolutely love these and like you get so much product in them if I can even get one out And they're just cubes like they're really awesome Okay, so that's that uh, This one is it says pigments, but it's like half pigments, and it also fits NYX eyeshadows as well, which is really awesome. There's Annabelle eyeshadows. So, I mean, this container is awesome. It fits every shape you can imagine. This right here is just pigments um, of Imani, and then there's e.l.f. mineral eyeshadows in there. And then the bottom one is my Annabelle pigments. Um, I really like the packaging on these. They're really awesome. They look like this. Kind of heavy, but whatever. All right, so that's that, and that's the reason why I don't have MAC palettes because I find those find these more handy. Um, these are where my palettes are: Naked, uh, Skull, Get Baked. That is the neutral eye palette by Too Faced, and I absolutely hate it. Um, the New York Volume palette, and this is my ginormous palette, which you guys will see in a couple minutes. All right, so this drawer right here is one of my prouded, proudest own drawers, and it is my lipstick drawer. Um, as you guys can see, I like it very organized, and again, the way I section them out and everything cost me like nothing. So I'll do a separate video once again showing you guys how I did that and how it just literally cost like, Five dollars. Okay, so I have all my MAC lipsticks here. My MAC um, Dazzle Glasses, MAC Lip Glosses. This is um, NARS, Smashbox, more NARS. My YSL Rouge Velup Lipsticks. These are my Clarins Lipsticks. I have Lancome in here. I have Elizabeth Arden. There's Kors um, Lip Glosses, Dior Lipsticks. There's also Quo, Maybelline, Revlon, and Pierre, and Stila lip glazes. Um, next over here are more lipsticks and lip glosses. Like there's Milani lip glosses in here, Lip Fusion, Gosh. Um, these are two MAC ones that I absolutely hate. Maybe I should just give it away or something. Elizabeth Arden. These are Joe Fresh lipsticks, and I absolutely love them. They're so cheap, but they're so pigmented and creamy it's amazing and these are like the slim shine wannabes but they are by gosh yeah and then Elizabeth Arden there's some NYX round pencils in here and yeah oh and these are my wet n wild lipsticks I really like them alright so oh and that's my Lumiere airbrush system so that is all of my lipsticks love this drawer 
Next drawer is my blushes. Um, love this drawer as well because I love blushes and lipsticks. It's my thing. And as you guys can see, there's a lot of space, so it kind of looks like I don't have much, but yeah. Um, I'll probably fill it up later on in life. <laughs> these are where I have all of my MSFs. Um, these are MAC blushes, MAC blushes, beauty powders, more MAC blushes. Here are some Smashbox blushes. Love them. Um, these are e.l.f. mineral blushes, and they're really good. You guys should try it out. The Color Icon blushes by Wet n Wild, Cargo, and then there's one hard candy blush. Um, these are where I keep my cream blushes. So these are the NYC cream blushes. Joe, the HD blush. I don't really like that. Hate that one, the Maybelline one. These are my bronzers. Um, I have some Rock Me Republic blushes in here, some NARS, and I have some e.l.f. blushes, which I absolutely adore. They're really good. And then these are the Rimmel bronzers. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed my makeup collection. <coughs> Um, it's a pretty big makeup collection, but you know, I'm addicted. I'm pretty sure like every single one of us out there. Okay, so this is my giveaway and this is my first ever big giveaway. There's going to be two winners and um, I'm going to start off with the rules first. Number one, you have to be a subscriber. Number two, the way to enter this contest, you have to do a video response um, showing me your makeup collection. And like I love watching makeup collection videos and I thought this would be really fun to see everybody else's too. So you have to do a video response showing me your makeup collection. If you don't want to or you don't have a video camera then just take a picture of your makeup collection and have a sign with your username in the front so I know it's not fake or anything. And number three, you have to um, be old enough to receive a package, get your parents approval because I will be sending you a package and I don't want your parents freaking out or anything. So um, there's going to be two winners. And the first and second place winner prizes are exactly the same thing, except for um, a couple things. Now, I'm not going to be choosing my winner by, oh my god, she has the biggest makeup collection, I'm going to choose her, no. Um, I'm just going to do the whole random thing, but I thought it would be fun that, like, you know, you can enter your makeup collection, and we can all just look at everybody's makeup collection, it's just going to be lots of fun. Um, yeah, so like I said, it's not me judging your makeup collection, I'm just going to choose randomly. Um, so first off, I'm going to start with the prizes. The first and second place winner will be receiving this um, this like ginormous palette right here. Now everything's brand new. I'm going to send you brand new stuff. It's not used or anything. This one's mine and um, excuse the tacky baseline, like that's horrendous, but anyways. So this palette here comes with 96 eyeshadows, 62 lip glosses, and 12 blushes. So when you open it, this is what it looks like. And then you kind of just slide it out. And then you get your blushes here and then your eyeshadows and your lip glosses now I've used this already and I think it's pretty awesome like it does the job and um, I just like it it's really on the go if you don't want to pack a bunch of stuff you can just take this with you and it'll be good to go so that's what the first and second place winner will receive secondly um, the first and second place winner will be receiving this makeup bag I seen this and I couldn't resist I was like this is so adorable it's like a panda with um, pink glitter bow on top of his head and my boyfriend's like it looks like an evil panda I was like no it doesn't it's so cute and inside is just pink and I still have the paper stuff in there but yeah so first and second place winner will be receiving this makeup bag um, also the first and second place winner will be receiving this um, MAC charity package if you guys didn't watch my MAC warehouse sale well then this is where I got it from um, you get a eyeshadow in making it easy a lipstick in hot sass and two eyebrow pencils, one in taupe and one in blonde. Okay, and this is where the first and second place winners prizes change. Now, if you guys didn't see my um, Clinique haul, I told you guys I bought a couple things because I wanted to give it away to um, give it away as a contest and stuff, right? So the first place winner gets to choose two products out of these four, and then the second place winner will just take what's ever left. So this is the Acne Solutions Kit um, where you can try it out. It's a really nice face wash. There's also the Take the Day Off Makeup Remover, which is really amazing. There is a um, brush on cream liner in True Black. It's really nice. And then you also get the Acne Solution Spot Treatment Gel. So like I said, first and second place prizes are exactly the same. Just the first winner gets to choose out of those four products. Okay, so I'm going to make this contest end on January 2nd. There isn't a certain time, but I'm going to release a video and say, oh, these are the winners, and then it'll say contest closed. So, see you guys on January 2nd. Until then, bye.